Welcome back to another DMZ video. Today we're going to be looking at killing the bosses in DMZ and how you can do this solo and be able to unlock some of these passive rewards that you can get for your barter and discounts for your workbench and things like plates and personal exfil. So killing the bosses is really, really powerful to get you that additional cost off of items at buy stations. So I'm going to show you how to do each one solo and easy. And I know some of them you don't need to do, but maybe you want to get the rewards for them, like the gold skull or maybe a plate vest, like you can get medic, comms, stealth from these bosses, and a whole bunch of other loot. So we're going to hop in. I'm going to show you how to kill the first boss, which is going to be chemist. And chemist, if you kill him, you will unlock the barter for the revive pistol. So we're going to be killing chemist. I'll show you a couple different ways to kill chemist. He's actually really, really easy once you see these, these ways to do this. So let's hop in and I'll show you how to take out chemist. If you wanna know how to find the chemist in Almazra, you're gonna open up the map. You're gonna go right to where this radiation is. That's gonna be where the chemist is. So you'll just head to that circle and he'll be somewhere inside here. You might need to use spotter scope or sniper scope to be able to find him, but that's how you're going to be able to locate where he is on the map. The first way we're going to talk about taking out the chemist is with a spotter scope and a sniper, preferably with thermal on the sniper so you can see inside of the gas and just sniping him from outside of the gas once you identify where he is. This is a very easy way to take him out, and then you can go in after you snipe some of the bots and be able to loot his stuff. Alright, where did I kill this guy at? He was around here somewhere. There he is. So yeah, you get a medic vest. There should be a gold skull. There it is. Gold skull. That'll give me some money. And then there's also that M13 you can pick up. I, I personally think it's just their servers. There he is. Alright. So now we're going to use Bomb Drone. Let's see if we can get close enough. Here we go. He's dead. So this way we're going to try and take him out with this rocket launcher. Somebody said that one rocket can take him out, so we're going to try it and see what happens. There he is. Alright, let's try rocket launcher. That did not take him out in one shot. Alright, rocket launcher is not the way to go. Yeah, it does not take him out in one shot. Let's see if we stick him. <laughs> Sticking him works. Okay, when looking on the map for Pyro, there's three spots that he could spawn. Sometimes you can tell right where he is by looking at this little icon where the weapon case is. So he spawns at downtown post office, U.S. Embassy. So see, he has a weapons case right now. And down here at control tower. Those are the three spots that he can spawn. So right now he has the weapon case. So we know Pyro is here and we actually don't need the key to kill him. We just need to go up this way, kind of like I am right now. And I'll show you how to kill him without actually going in. Alright, right up where that guy was. You can look in. And there he is. There we go. There we go. And then in there you see the weapon case and everything, but... We were just here to kill him to start getting the passives. So that's how you can do it at post office without the key. Okay, we're gonna see if we can take out Pyro here. So right now he's at the air traffic control tower. And you can kill him without going in. Just by jumping up onto this little ledge here and shooting through this window. Is 
The trick is trying to get him to come down, though. So it seems to work really well if you come over on the back side and shoot like right here, lure him over. So I hear him moving around. He's probably lured over there. And then I'm just gonna kind of like shoot as I go around, just hugging this wall. Let's see if he's stuck him. And he's dead. <laughs> so yeah, if you stick him with a sticky grenade, he dies. And you can do that here at this point. But you can see a weapon case in there, free plate. There's a tempered back there. So yeah, he drops quite a bunch of stuff. Alright, so we're gonna jump down here. Get on top of this building. And we're gonna look for bots. There's one over at the gas station. One there. Any other bots? Really not a lot of bots right now. Alright. And then we're just gonna drop down onto this ledge. And he's right here. Wonder if I could snipe him. Oop. Hey buddy. What you doing? Oh, I can snipe him. This was the last one that I needed. There he is. I wish I could grab the stuff through though. The enemy's armored commander is down. Oh. Oh, I grabbed it! Can I grab the three plate? I probably shouldn't stay here. Now that I have this weapon case. Let's just uh, drop that. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna use a bomb drone. What? I should have killed him. Well, stun worked very well. Enemy Bashara down. Good kill. I'll take that and that. Alright, so definitely use a stun. I guess Bomb Drone didn't work very well. So what you get for killing Pyro is you actually are going to get different armor plate discounts. So you are actually going to be able to get your armor plates all the way down to like a hundred bucks each just by killing Pyro. Okay, when I want to find the Juggernaut or the Armored Commander, I just basically get a vehicle and fly around until I find him. There he is. And this is one of the spawns is over here that he likes to spawn in. But, a very easy way to kill him is to use a bomb drone. Same thing as Chemist. So here we go, bomb drone up. He's right here. And he's back. Very easy. Very easy to kill the Juggernaut with a bomb drone. Hey, Jug's nearby. Yeah, the Juggernaut spawns in a couple different areas. There he is. Come over here, buddy. Yeah, come here. Yep, come here. And it's actually really funny because you can actually almost glitch him out. Watch this. He's going to come over here to the ladder. Because he's got to get to me to shoot me. Here we go, wait for it. There we go. And then when he gets to the top, come back down. Now he'll jump. Oh, operators are here. Now we'll just wait. He'll jump down. So he's going to jump down, I'll just go right up this ladder. 
Like you could you could literally keep you could use any weapon to do this. Where you at, buddy? I hear him below me. Oh, there he is. Get ready. And oh, he said no. <laughs> it's so easy to take the jug out if you use a ladder. This is a map of the current jug spawns. The best way I would find to go and find him would be just to drive around to these different spots until the notification pops up. Because if you do the secure intel, it's going to just be, take way too long to be able to find him. And you're not going to get 100% chance of finding him doing that. It might show you Pyro or another boss on the map. So for killing the Helo Commander, you're going to get discounts on your personal exfils, and you're going to be able to get that down pretty low, if I remember correctly. So definitely worth it to go ahead and kill him. Let's see how many of these it takes to take him down. There's two. There's three. The one did not hit. He's using flares. So I don't know. Will he keep using flares? Oh, that one hit. Okay, so now he's gonna start shooting at me. Let's reload. This is using a lot of missiles. I mean, this isn't too bad, though. Oh, that, that one missed. They miss a lot is the issue. Ooh, he's hurting. Alright, that's all I have. This thing just takes a beating. That wasn't it. Man, this thing just is absolute beast. There we go. Jeez. I'm gonna die to bots now. Man, that was, uh, that was a bit crazy. Definitely easier ways to take him down, but you can use a javelin to take him down. It's just, you're gonna use so many rockets. That thing is just crazy. All right, so we have attack helicopter here, right? The easiest way I found to take out the attack helicopter is just get one of these anti-airs. Takes a little bit to capture it. And it gives you this nice loud alarm so everybody in the area knows that you're capturing it. Almost. I missed. Nice. Take it out. And that's it. It's gonna die. I, actually, it did die. <laughs> the bomb maker is always gonna spawn top floor of Suki Castle right here so you'll have to go into the castle if you want to get his rewards or you can shoot him from the outside all right so let's talk about this way to kill the bomb maker we're gonna use snapshot grenades 
be able to see what's going on inside. Oh, there it was. That was actually really easy. So, bomb maker's dead. Weapon case is in there. Ultra one, the bomb maker is down. Good work. Search the area for. So yeah, you can. What I did was I threw a snapshot up in the corner so it doesn't do like it did there. And then you'll be able to see the guys that are inside. You can, if you have enough drill charges, basically just keep using drill charges. But there are um, there are trophy systems in there, so you will have to deal with the trophy systems. I see, with munitions, you can just keep doing them, and eventually you'll break the trophy systems that are in there. Ooh. You do have to watch out for the Wilson. So see, I have them stored here in my bag. There's shield guys in there. Okay, so the bomb maker, if you go into the, the tunnels that are right here, you can see I'm going into one right now. You can actually go down and come up through the bottom to kill the bomb maker. You'll see here what I'm doing. So down the zip line, and then basically right on the other side of this opening is where you need to go. But there's a lot of guys down here. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. Nicely done. Uh oh. You can swim over to the other side and try and run. It might not work. And then go up the zip line. <laughs> That's if you don't want to fight all those bots. You can also do it slow, where you actually fight them all. But... That worked out for me. Alright, and then we're just gonna go into the castle hideout here. Nice and easy. Two shield guys. I should have put on a mission where I have to kill the bomb maker within like five meters. People might be coming up. And there's bomb maker. And he's dead. He's really not tough to, to beat. And there's a three plate, his crossbow, there's a three plate comms, and I didn't use the crossbow to kill him. I brought in the crossbow, because that's what I was going to use, and I didn't, uh, didn't do it. Killing the bomb maker is going to give you kill streak discounts, so it's worth killing him just to get those. So you get cheaper UAVs, because it seems like everybody has UAVs anymore. The Wheelson is always going to be wandering around the outside of the perimeter of the castle. So right around here. So you won't be able to miss him as long as you just stay somewhere on the outside of this track. You will definitely mm -hmm. encounter him. Alright, so we're going to try DDoS on this uh, Wheelson. Oh, there it is. It didn't work. Oh, it did work. And that will destroy it. Right? I do believe that destroyed it. <laughs> Look at that. Why is it still moving? So the wheel sin on building 21 is going to be found on the third floor. And it's kind of going to be like the wheel sin on Ashika Island where it's going to be going around the outside in the hallway. So you can always find it there, and if you go clockwise around this area, you'll be able to run into it sooner and faster. And the easiest way to take out this wheel sin is just to use a couple thermites. Two thermites will take it out, and you can DDoS this 
wheel sin also like you can with the one on a Sheikah. That should kill it. There it is. So two thermites will kill the Wilson. Alright, this is gonna be DDoS and Simtex. So you can DDoS it to get it to stop. And it'll take two Simtex to kill it. So there's one. There's thermite. Back off that nigga. Thermite also works. Right, now I need As you'll see. Need another ammo box, huh, bitch? There it is. Killing the Wilson will give you the comms plate carrier barter, but you need to kill the Wilson in building 21. It does not count on Ashika Island. It's one of you, Velican. The last boss we're going to talk about for building 21 is Velikin, and I think this is the hardest boss in DMZ. You have to wait until 4 minutes and 30 seconds for him to spawn. Sometimes you get a notification, sometimes you don't. He will spawn, there's two doors on the upper floor that he can spawn at. There's two different elevators. One is in the hallway where the Wilson is. So I usually just stay at the upper floor around 4 minutes 30 seconds and just kind of wait for him up there. If he doesn't spawn up there, he's probably spawned in the basement. But either way, he will come towards you. So if you just kind of wait around in an area, you will eventually hear the telltale grenade launcher that he has. And I really think the best way to kill him, there's no real easy way to do it. Just uh, grab a shotgun and get really close to him because that's going to make him deal less damage. The closer you are, the better. So I would just grab a shotgun and uh, do like I do here. Is that him? That's him. I found him. Don't shoot. Let me get him. Oh, jeez. All right. There's a medic. He's dead. Man, that was super quick with that shotgun. Killing Velikin is going to give you the skeleton key barter and eventually the Mark 32 barter if you kill him nine times. As you can see, I've only killed him five. I do believe he is the hardest boss in DMZ. To find and kill the rhinoceros and the sniper in Koshai Complex, you're going to need to go into the chemical plant and you're going to be looking for a factory admin key. There are at least two out here in the chemical plant, and the, and the key is going to be somewhere here in the middle. Basically what we want to look for, these little areas here, there's a key. Somebody's coming out now. Um, we want to go this way. Yeah, somebody's coming into this area right now. I'm pretty sure north is the direction I need to go. Hope I don't run into these guys. Yep. Doors open. We're gonna have a turret down here. Oh. We're just gonna go right for it. I'm not even gonna stop here. There's gonna be a bunch of bots down here. Once you get to this point, it's pretty linear. Just go through these doors and go all the way back to where you'll see that I'm setting up my bomb drone. And this method with the bomb drone is going to be the easiest method for taking these guys out. All right. I'm going to use bomb drone now. This is going to be the quickest way to take these guys out. That guy's dead. This door's open. Defuse this. From here, if you want, you can get closer to the sniper to do the bomb drone, or you can do the bomb drone from down where you killed Rhino. But you're gonna make your way through all these traps, crawling, and 
disabling them, and then use the bomb drone to kill Sniper. We're gonna go out. Come in the side window. There he is. Dead. And that's it. Those two bosses are really easy to take out with Bomb Drone. Actually, I'm gonna leave that. As soon as I pick this up, I need to run. Alright, here we go. Alright, so this time we're gonna be using the broadside shotgun. See how quick we could take him down. We're just gonna run right up to him. Let's just DDoS these. Huh. For killing Sniper or Rhino, you're going to get workbench discounts while adding attachments to weapons. Alright, here he comes. And DDoS. Get on top of him, and then we just shoot him. This is the easiest way to get this guy out. So Bullfrog is going to spawn in one of these four corners, either down here, here, over here, or down here. And he'll spawn between 16 and a half minutes to 17 and a half minutes, anywhere in there. And you'll see him because he'll be driving around the map. You basically just need to get in front of him. And once you do this enough, you'll know that there's set paths for each place that he spawns in. So you'll be able to get in front of him, DDoS, and then climb in front of him. Alright, so that's what we're looking for for Scavenger. Which means that we should be able to go up there to get him. We gotta find a zipline up. Here's a zipline up. Looks like people are already hunting him. We're gonna try it though. Get out of here because I know people are going to be coming. Ashika is very, very rough, but it is the way to find um, Scavenger just because everybody's dying here and it's close proximity, so you'll always see when Scavenger is on the map. And I have not been able to test. Bomb drone and other stuff on him yet, but I would imagine if you can get a bomb drone close enough, the bomb drone will take him out in one hit. 
but I usually just go up and shoot him. Yeah, scavenger is a tricky one. You need to have dead players on the map. And then he will spawn. You'll see that little red circle like uh, like I had popped up. And then that's where you'll go to find scavenger. And if there's other groups of dead bodies, he's going to move around. So you're going to have to be kind of quick to get to him. But then he'll drop gold skull, scavenger bag. If the scavenger picked up any loot off of other players, he will have that also in drop. Killing scavenger is going to give you access to the scavenger barter and the secure bag barter. You will have to kill him nine times to be able to get this. Phew, that was a long video and it did take me quite a long time to be able to make this video for you guys. So I would really appreciate it if you dropped a sub for the channel. We are trying to push for 10,000 subs by the end of the year. Hit a like if this video has helped you guys out. And uh, make sure you stop by for a live stream. We will be doing live streams every Tuesday and Friday, 7 Eastern. Hope to see you guys there.